Hello. I want to talk about how fairness is an illusion. We live in a world that values fairness. A, a, uh, most societies value fairness. So some of us think the universe is fair, or God is fair, or, uh, you know, the, everything is fair, you know, and, and they think, and people think, including myself, you know, that things are going to work out, because that would be fair, the world is going to be fair to me, not everybody, obviously, but, there are people who think this. Um, when that is just simply not true. Um, there is no one upstairs pulling the strings for your benefit. Nobody. There may be a God, but he's not doing that. Because if he's doing it for you, why wouldn't he be doing it for the people working in sweatshops to make shoes who are trying to kill themselves by jumping out a building but can't because there's a net to catch them because people have tried it already. And um, they uh, are saved by the net so they can continue working. That's that's a terrible life to lead, yet they lead it, and that's not fair. What about all the slaves throughout history? Millions. Uh, they were born, and they were forced to do things not for their own benefit, but for the benefit of someone else usually for their entire lives working very hard now I know I personally don't like working very hard and if I don't want to work very hard I stop but if you're a slave and you stop somebody hurts you and gets and or punishes you in another way but usually physical violence so you have to keep working. And that's not fair. Um, if you're born with a uh, deformity or, or some other condition. You know, I was watching this documentary of a guy who was born with a condition where if you touch his skin, it falls off. That's not fair. He wasn't he was born with a horrible condition and is in pain all the time. That's not fair. Uh there's a lot of things that are not fair. But me and many others are under the delusion that God or the universe or a higher power or something is pulling the strings for our benefit. Now, if you're an atheist, you probably still have an illusion of fairness, or still have the idea that you deserve fairness. When this is a very modern concept, most of the citizens of the world, I think, value fairness nowadays. So if they hear that their ruler is being unfair, they won't support him. That wasn't always the case. It used to be the case that people wanted to conquer. They still do. But, I mean, this, even the citizens, you know. We live in a powerful nation. We can hurt the people of your other nation, you know, it wasn't always, you know, 
so diplomatic as we are today. And you know that can that can disintegrate. You know, there's no there's nothing that's really holding that together other than the desires of the people after the evolution of cultures. So I mean that is we're not living in a fair world. That is the the way it is. A lot of times it's power based. Who has power? You know, if you have power, you can get people to do things that you need done instead of doing it yourself. That's that's really what is going on in our world. People have money, which money equals power nowadays. So you have money, you pay other people who don't have money and need money to do things that you need done or want done. And it's not fair that the poor people aren't getting enough money. But some people, like I mentioned, I think, the sweatshops make a dollar or under for doing hard work. Not fair. So, for us personally, Nobody is, com nobody is obligated to work on our behalf, to provide our lives with fairness. And I doubt, because of all the examples I named, that someone upstairs, meaning in heaven, is pulling the strings for us either. So that leaves a lot of uncertainty, but I think it's a lot more plausible. Somber message, but uh, what can I say? Have a good day.